Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This week is going to be crazy. When 2.2 just came out, we also saw Flux Crea and now there is one more new model, Quan Image. It can do text to image, image to image and also edit any image. Quan Image is the latest model from the team who made Quan V. The name might sound like just another big AI model, but this one solves a very real problem. Text rendering. Not just single letters floating in the image, but full paragraphs in both English and Chinese. You know how other models fail when we try to add long text? This model fixes that problem. And the best part, you can now use Quen image inside ComfyUI. It works great and yes, you can run it on your own PC. So when I tested some of the sample prompts from the Quen image release, I was really surprised. It's not just for posters, it can do many things like magazine covers, billboards, even UI screenshots. It supports different fonts and languages in the same image. And the best part is the text is clean, no broken letters, no weird spacing. It just works. So now if you want to try Quen image inside ComfyUI, the setup is simple. First, you must update your ComfyUI and then you can use it. But let me tell you what happened to me. So when I tried it for the first time in ComfyUI, the image came out blank. I was literally confused. I thought I did everything right. My Comfy UI is updated. Still, it didn't work. Then I found the issue. It was Sage Attention. You have to disable Sage Attention to make it run. And once I did that, it started working. So now let's talk about the model you need for this workflow. And there are two versions you can use. The first one is Quen Image FP8 E4 M3 FN Safe Tensors. This is the smaller version, about 20 GB. It works well on 12 to 24 GB GPUs. It's fast and uses less VRAM. The second one is Quen Image BF16 Safe Tensors. This is the full version about 41 GB you can you get better quality if you have more than 24 GB VRAM I have a 32 GB GPU so it took about one minute to generate the image just choose the model that fits your system and once you download the file put it in your comfy UI's models diffusion model folder now Let's talk about the text encoder. This model uses a custom text encoder for many languages. You only need one file, Quan 2.5, VL7B, FP8, Scaled Safe Tensors. It supports English, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Italian and more and put this in your comfy UI's models text encoder folder. So you will also need a VAE file. The one you need is Quen Image VAE Safe Tensors. And this goes into comfy UI's models VAE folder. So if you want to use the GGUF model, there are also files available from Q2 to Q8. Just like other models, there is also a full BF16 version. Pick the one that fits your GPU and save it in the same place. ComfyUI's Models Diffusion Model folder. Once everything is done, you are good to go. Now, 
open your Comfy UI. The workflow is quite simple. In the Load Diffusion Model node, select the model file. In, in Load Clip, select the text encoder file. In Load VAE, choose the Quan Image VAE file. So if you want to use GGUF instead of Safe Tensors, it's easy. Just bypass the Load Diffusion Model node and unbypass the Unit Loader GGUF node. Then connect the model node to model sampling aura flow. Next, in empty SD3 latent image, you can set the resolution. In clip text encode, you can write your prompt. After testing the model, here are the settings that worked best for me. And those are steps 20, CFG4, Resolution 1024 by 1024. So these settings give great results every time. And let's test this model with a real example. Quan image is best for text rendering. So let's try to create a banner. And here is the prompt I gave. Layout with creamy white and soft shy blue tone. And I gave the large title as Start Fresh, tagline Pure Goodness Every Day, three simple sections, goal, key message, and target audience. Light icons are leaf, sun, cow, which represents freshness, natural source, farm origin. And the logo must be Move on Milk, simple and stylish in the corner. Now I hit generate and the result shocked me. The layout was perfect. It used the creamy white and blue tone correctly. It added the large title start fresh just like I wrote. Below that the tagline also looked professional. But the best part? It made three clean sections, goal, key message and target audience, exactly how I wanted. It even added the icons I described, the leaf, the sun and the cow. This result is insane. Then I tried the same prompt in Flux Crea with FP16 model. As you can see, the difference is clear. The layout looked okay, but the spelling was wrong and 70% of the text was broken. Quen image is much better for text rendering. It clears, it's a clear winner here. Next, I tried the same text prompt using the Quen image QA GGUF model. And when I hit run, the result was very different. But 95% of the text was correct. It looked really good, even better than Flux Crea. Only two things were wrong. The audience text and the farm origin were not placed correctly. Also, the target text was missing. Now I wanted to test the FP8 version, but this time the result wasn't that great. I gave it one more try, then another one. I tested many times, but still the output was not as good as the FP16 version. But here is the truth. Even the FP8 version is still better than Flux Crea. After trying 3-5 times, I got one result that was really good. And in that one, 98% of the text was correct. And that sounds impressive. So let's make this test harder. And here is the prompt I gave. A man is standing in front of a window 
he is holding a yellow paper on the paper is a handwritten poem and the poem is a lantern moon climbs through the silver night unfolding quiet dreams across the sky each star a whispered promise wrapped in light that dawn will bloom through darkness wanders by also there is a cool cat sitting at the door so now let's check the results and here is the result and the man is holding the letter and every line of the text is there you can read each word clearly it's 100% correct that really shocked me only two small problems the word whispered is a little hard to re- read the word dreams is a bit blurry but still readable so i tried to fix this first i increased the steps but it didn't help 20 steps gave the best result then i tried increasing the resolution but still the same finally i tested the same prompt in flux kriya and it failed not even close to quen image so even with small issues quen image wins again now let's test the realism flux kriya is known for this one of the best open source models for realistic images so i gave a simple prompt generate an image of a girl sitting on stairwell the result was impressive it looked very real not like an ai image no plastic face no weird lighting it looked like a scene from a movie the image had natural colors and real shadows and this model didn't just to render the text well it also gave a very realistic result now let's test the same prompt in flux kriya and again it's shocking it looked 100% realistic like a photo not an ai art if i showed this to someone they would never guess it was made by ai so when it comes to realism both models did a great job very close results both are strong now let's compare both models on hand generation can they create hands correctly so quan did a great job here i tested a portrait of a woman showing five fingers it looked real the hand was perfect but here flux kriya didn't do so well it added an extra finger so i tried again and this time yes the hand looked good but still i think quan image gave the better result more clean more natural In the end it's up to you you decide which model works best for your project. So that's it for today's video. If you liked it don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.